can feel that you feel that way too. Is when I fall. Never 
Who gives this woman in marriage? Me and her mother. <laughs> you may be seated. On behalf of uh, the bride and the groom, uh, we want to welcome you. Thank you so much for being here on a chilly afternoon, but wow, what a beautiful day. And uh, I, I was just thinking, uh, I don't often get to do weddings in barns. And uh, here we are in front of a barn. I have the fondest memories every time I get to be out on a farm. Uh, I was telling one of the fellows here, uh, it used to be when I was a kid, you go out uh, in the dark and the barn lights were always on, whether it was evening or morning. If you had cows, you had the lights on. And uh, I think so many good things have happened in barns. And uh, <laughs> I've even, e even our Savior Jesus was born in a barn, so it's pretty good. And uh, today, after what I consider just about the worst possible year we've ever had, 2020, uh, we get to do something good, and it's going to happen at a barn. And uh, it's, it's the wedding of Brett and Allison. So if you would, bow your heads with me. I would like to open in prayer. Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you for this wonderful, beautiful day. I thank you for the two people that stand before me. I, I thank you for um, having a chance to be part of their lives. Thank you for their folks. I thank you for their grandparents. Thank you for all the people that are gathered together to show support. I mean, this is really great, Lord. And I pray that you will help us this day uh, to make it special for Brett and Allison. I also pray that, uh, that you will be glorified and uh, you'll enjoy every moment of this day, too. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I have a couple scriptures that I want to read. Uh, the first is Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12. Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them fall down, one can help the other up, but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they'll keep warm, but how can one keep warm alone? One may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Matthew chapter 13, verses 44 through 46. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure that a man discovered in a field. In his excitement, he hid it again, sold everything he owned to get enough money to buy the field. And again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant on the lookout for choice pearls. When he discovered a pearl of great value, he sold everything he owned and bought it. I've uh, been a preacher for a long time, and uh, generally, if I had to preach a sermon from these verses, uh, I originally started out telling people that uh, the pearl of great price and the field with a treasure in it was uh, God, and how that it was important for us to spend our lives going after Him. Uh, as I've matured a bit, I've found that there's another version to this scripture, and it's much more powerful to me, and that is uh, God is the one doing the searching. God's the one doing the finding, and we're the pearl of great price. And once you catch on to that one, uh, everything changes for you. There's a third part of this story, and this is the story of Brett and Allison. Uh, 
I've heard a lot of stories about you. You guys have even told me a few stories. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if I understand everything correctly, if I can remember correctly, uh, you guys have been friends. You've known each other since the first grade. And uh, by the seventh grade, Brett finally decided that uh, he would get his nerve <laughs> up and ask him to dance. <laughs> and I don't know what happened. <laughs> I think she might have dumped him. But I'm not sure how it went. <laughs> I don't know. But they, they, they parted. They went their separate ways. And, uh, and then uh, later on in college, uh, Brett decided, wait a minute. Uh, he is truly the merchant uh, that may have had many pearls or many jewels. Uh, I bet he found a girl or two attractive. <laughs> But after, after, after all of that, <laughs> he came back to Brookville one day and said, oh my gosh, I have, I've had the pearl all my life. She's right in front of me. And, uh, and I'm going to give up absolutely everything so that I can have her. And that's what she did. Now, the other part of the story is uh, Brett, I mean, Allison gets to be the pearl. Uh, you and this story get to be dirt. That's mm -hmm. how it goes sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> You're the field, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Allison, I know, has seen something special in you, and I see that same thing. Yeah, there, there's treasure in there. And I believe if there's any way that you're ever going to be all the man that I know God's asking you to be, she will help you find that treasure. And that's what she's all about. And uh, she's 100% in. And, and, and when two people like you begin marriage and start loving each other 100%, 100% not 50-50, in the old days, that's the way we were raised, 50-50. Didn't work out too good for me. We kept track of everything. Did you do your 50%? Did you do your 50%? But when you're all in, 100%, you don't keep track. And that's what love is all about. And that's what God's done for us. He loves us 100% no matter what. And uh, I am excited for you guys as you live your lives before us. Uh, you give me hope for the future. 2020 has sucked, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I believe with all my heart that this is the beginning of the end of the 2020 I have seen. I think you guys are, are the beginning of good things that are only going to get better and better and better. And, uh, and that's my prayer for you, too. So with that all being said, Brett, will you take Allison to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only unto her so long as you both shall live? I will. And Allison, will you take Brett to be your wedded husband? to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only unto him so long as you both shall live? I will. Brett, what do you give as a token of your marriage? A ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Let, me have that. Let me have that ring first. I, I get it first, yeah. Okay. Brett offers a ring as a symbol of his token of love, and it's a doozy. Nice <laughs> job. <laughs> it is beautiful. It is perfect. It is circular, and it represents God's love. There's no beginning or ending, and that represents your love also. So if you'll take that and put that on Allison's finger and repeat after me, I, Brett. I, Brett. Take you, Allison. Take you, Allison. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Good job. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and Allison, what token do you give? Okay. A ring also. Thank you. 
Allison also offers a ring. It's made of the purest of materials, and it resent <laughs> and it it also speaks of her love as very pure for Brett. So, Allison, do you take Brett? Whoops, there. I, Allison. <laughs> I'll get this right. <laughs> I, Allison. Take you, Brett. Take you, Brett. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Much easier. <laughs> Brett and Allison now are going to symbolize their marriage by uh, standing a unity cross. And if you can see, the, the first part of the cross is the outside shape, and then it's filled in in the center, and it's being held together with three pegs. Outside is Brett, big tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> but without, without the gifts that his wife is bringing him, uh, he's not complete. And they keep this all together by adding the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, this is truly a special couple. Uh, they're as good as it gets, and I am proud to be part of this day. Uh, and I pray that you bless them. I pray that you touch their lives, set them apart in a very special way. Lord, we've, uh, we've done our best. Uh, we've got a certificate that says they're married. Uh, I've tried to say every word right, got most of them. Uh, Brett and Allison did it perfectly. Uh, but without your touch, this all means nothing. And so we ask, Lord, in this moment, that you would begin the process of making them one. Make them one. Do the thing that no man can do. Make them one, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, Brett and Allison, because you have desired to be one in marriage, you proclaimed it before God, your families in this circle of friends, because you've made vows of faithfulness and love, because you've given rings to show the entire world that you belong only to each other, then I say God has made you one. So let all people here and everywhere recognize and respect you as husband and wife. Sir? You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good job. Okay, you're going to turn around there and let these folks look at you. <laughs> it is now my joy and pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Allison and Brett Hortman. <laughs> <laughs>